Welcome back to the channel. It's Ride the Wings 86 coming at you from Wesley, Arkansas. What I have here today is my new to me 40 foot shipping container. Uh, my plans are for this, well, first of all, is to, all that rust that's along the side of there and at the bottom um, get rid of all that power wash that off as best I can uh, this too where it's rusty right here the paint's flaking off I'm gonna try to try my best to get that treated and sealed up the best I can then I'm gonna put a coat of paint on this and I'm not real sure what color to go with yet um, Excuse the brightness guys, it's in the late evening here and the west sun is uh, pretty bright. But it's, it's not much to it. Um, I do need to finish putting it on blocks. I did get a little ahead of myself and I just started putting stuff in it. There's a bunch of crap in it actually that I probably need to take back out so I can jack it up with my bottle jacks and get it jacked up a little higher. It's a, uh, see the sun is so bright it's hard to even see it. Um, but that's it. Okay. Um, see all these busted blocks? okay um part of that the guy that brought to me uh part of that the guy that brought this thing to me he did part of that and i did the other part um i tried putting blocks on it or under it excuse me under it while he had it on the trailer and when he tilted the trailer down and tried to drive out from under it it just pulled the blocks with it and bust them and it fell and so um I managed to get one of those small flat ones underneath it on the sides to hold it up and he was able to, to drive out from under it and I got my bottle jacks started jacking it up and um, I wasn't paying attention but the land is kind of shaped like this too so I had my bottle jack over there and every time I get it just about jacked up to where I could put a block under it it would just fall over. The jack would fall over and the whole container would move. What I wound up doing was, there's a chain still there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I put that chain through there and hooked it to the back of my truck and put it over here to hold the container so I could get it jacked up to this point just to make it usable for now. Um, try to stay on this side of the container because that sun, all it's gonna do is blind you. Um, Try to go this way, maybe. But anyway. It's not much to look at right now, but like I said, uh, after I get it painted, I want to put a roof over it um, and then build a room or lean-to, whatever you want to call it, on this side of it and bring it out about 10 feet or so and all the way down. Um, so it would basically be 18 foot wide and 40 foot long. Um, I plan on putting a walk-in door on this side, somewhere there closer to the front. Um, a couple windows on this side, a couple on the other side. Um, I'm probably going to put a window unit in it, insulate the inside of it just a little bit so I can stand it to work in it. Um, but when it sits there all day, it actually gets pretty hot inside of it. Um, this is one of those containers that it come from San Antonio, Texas, I believe. But anyways, um. I thought I got a pretty good deal on it. It's a uh, it's a rent to own, but I figured I will have it paid off quicker 
uh, in that three year uh, rent to own plan, um, I'll probably pay, you know, some bigger payments on it and get it paid off quicker. But anyway, um, I got lots to do to it. Let you guys see the inside of it just a little bit. Um, this is going to be in another video. It's a Briggs and Stratton 16 horse engine that I put a 17 and a half Briggs and Stratton engine uh, camshaft in it. The one that's in it, the, the uh, intake lobe, I believe it was, it's wore completely down, but that'll be in another video. Anyways, um, do any of you guys know what this writing means? There's all kinds of writing all over this door, or, or on this door and all over this container. Um, I have no idea what it means. Do any of you guys have any idea what that stuff means? Let me know. Um, drop your comments down below, please. Okay, this is the other side. It's it's not too bad. Um, but see that long distance from that block to that block down there? I'm going to put probably one uh, a stack of blocks there and a stack of blocks there just kind of help it hold the weight that's inside of it for now. Give me some ideas of what I should do with it. Um, what do you guys think? What would you do with it? Drop your comments down below. I plan on, I'm going to put lights in, in it too. Um, I have no idea what kind of lights yet. I want to put a garage door or overhead door, whatever you want to call it. In the end of it here, I'm going to take these double doors off, get rid of those, and put overhead door in the end of it. Um, what has been y'all's experience with that for you people that have a shipping container? Um, have you tried it? And if you have, how hard was it to put a, a garage door in the end of it? And is it hard to put a... Uh, like a walk-in door in the side of it or windows or anything of that nature. Um, drop your comments down below and let me know, guys. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for updates. This is in another video along with that engine, that brick strut engine that goes in that. But anyways, uh, stay tuned for... More videos to come, and as always, thank you for watching.